वेलकम टू सुपर मनी डोंट इवन आस्क मी वेदर दिस पोस्ट इज अबाउट वैल्यू इन्वेस्टिंग और अबाउट कम्युनिकेशन और इज देर अ रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द टू लेट्स लुक एट इट दिस वे इफ यू सी द वर्ल्ड टूडे इट सीम्स टू बी इन अ बिग के ऑस राइट वॉर्स आर हैपनिंग पीपल आर सेलिंग आर्म्स टू द सेम पीपल पीपल आर बाइंग ऑयल फ्रॉम द फ्रॉम द ऑपोजिट साइड राइट सो यूरोप इज बाइंग ऑयल फ्रॉम रशिया एंड उक्रेन इज सेंग इंडिया शुड नॉट बी बाइंग ऑयल फ्रॉम रशिया आई मीन गिव मी अ ब्रेक राइट इट्स वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट्स हैपनिंग सो Uh, the politician also has to live here right in this world the politician also has to live so he is also very confused now bring you bring in value investing uh none of these what is happening around in the world in terms of prices and shares etc makes sense so much so that i think about a year back uh, seth uh, clarman uh, said uh, the market's usual role in uh, price determination is been suspended or has gone for a toss or something like that right so it's true right do you you have somebody as uh, senior as him uh, in terms of experience knowledge quality and he also realizes that uh, value investing is perhaps going for a toss not that he is going to give up on value investing what what is really happening uh, many day traders and uh, speculators are coming in and making money right make no mistake about that they are making money it is wrong to say that they are not making money Fin, fin, financial influencers or fin influencers as they are called are making money maybe 200 of them are making money and 2 million of them are not making money but some small sex of people are making money and many of them may not have even heard the word value investing so is growth investing working better than value investing that's a very difficult question to even answer because you have a lot of accounting red flags you have bad promoters you have rogue promoters i mean look at the way the uh, psu shares in india have been talked up right they have gone high real estate is uh, they are trying to talk up real estate certain groups shares have gone up so high that it's very difficult to believe that uh, it is not with the active management uh, active involvement of the management now within all this where do you fit in value investing does I mean, it's fairly obvious that it will leave us exasperated and wonder. Arey, I mean, so I thought this was a good share and it would make money over two, three years, uh, but uh, it's not making any money over three years. But some other share which is not doing so, which should not be doing so well on the basis of accounting, is doing very well because there are a lot of people talking about it on Reddit and things like that, and so. so it's doing well so some are media promoted stocks some are genuinely good stocks where where will you go as a value investor that's a, that's a question which we have to answer so i went back and read this small note uh, about uh, nat silver's book on the signal and the noise so he says and he's talking of 1440 when the publishing industry was born uh that the cost of the book came down from $20000 to $60 and uh, suddenly all the uh, all the religious texts etc were available so everybody knew what was the written in each other's books and they started killing each other now look at look at india uh, okay uh, india is in its villages so one in one village one guy who owed money to another person was going with his cows uh maybe to sell it maybe to graze it or something and he got beaten up and he was killed right so that story did not reach the next village for maybe 6 months 3 months 4 months whatever so it did not create great impact somebody comes in the month of november or december, let's say december and tells you oh in september this happened it will have less impact but if i can show you that 3 hours ago this man got beaten up if i can show you videos and uh, say what has happened and it he turns out to be from a different religion that's it. it it's a short fuse world so everybody there now gets agitated and say why did this happen oh our community is being singled out uh, you know all those kind of things keep happening and it creates more hatred and more uh, uh, more problems right so just like in 1440 the publishing industry created problem today 
that is uh, i'm not saying media is creating the problem but the fact that so much of data is available to so many people and they're all constantly tweeting shooting and uh, imagine the position of an investment analyst he goes for a meeting he comes back he's still assimilating what is there people have already started tweeting mr subra said this about his company mr subra so there are 10 then there are chain tweets then there are videos all already there and you have not even finished understanding what has happened so then what happens to value investing because other people would have come bought the share then they would have sold it off you know saying oh i i don't think what i don't understand what's happening so with all these things happening where does that leave you with value investing that's my question so it's very difficult to be uh, in this market as a value investor simply because you do not get enough time to create value nobody is willing to give you 20 years and say oh this is a good company in which you have to stay invested for 20 years there are fund managers who say we dare not take more than a 2 3 year view fund managers so when the fund manager comes and tells you uh, stay invested for the long run it's just a joke it's not as though he means it because he himself is going to be churning much faster than what his predecessors did i mean i remember there was a time in the us uh, when perhaps buffett was in his uh, peak when the average age, the period for which a person held a share was 7 years i am holding some of my shares for 30 40 50 years right it, it is possible to hold it for such a long period of time in fact, one share in my portfolio is older than me, right? But how many people want to hold? They all want very quick solutions, right? Uh, so you have to understand when publishing became, uh, publishing came to Europe, a lot of people were killed. A part of the big portion of the population got uh, eradicated, right? So these things have all happened. Now we are struggling with the information revolution. It's just uh, uh, the problem we have is uh, we are not sure whether what we think is correct. Uh, you are constantly told about one community or one particular set of actions. So you say, oh, this is right wing, that is left wing, this is uh, Islamic, this is Islamic phobia, this is Hindu phobia. Constantly when you are told, you really can't make up your mind. You, will you sit and read a 40 page book or a 500 page book on uh, what is really happening in the world and who are the persons who are willing to write that's not you, that's not very clear so you keep jumping from one headline to the other so somebody in twitter or somebody somewhere is telling you what to read next and you are being led towards it you know that this could be a clickbait right there is somebody uh, talking about totally irrelevant things right but that would all come and hit you because somebody is talking of a cricketer of a cricketer having an affair with a heroine that then that heroine. so suddenly somewhere you started reading about cricket you went to the cricketer you had read about his girlfriend then you went to movies in which she acts so suddenly you're no longer in cricket right so if you read a book the advantage is there's nobody trying to tell you oh click here click here so reading on the net is very difficult so you need to see how to even read on the net, forget learning from the net, that's far away. So I don't think uh, net is a great place unless you are tremendously disciplined because this kind of uh, data bombarding creates a lot of hyper anxiety in you. So you do not know whom to impress, what to do, how many clicks you have got, how many likes you have got, what, what you should, uh, whether number of hits is important or quality of hits is important, very difficult to talk about all this. So amidst all this, what will you do as a value investor? What, you People don't have time. It's not like the 50s and 60s when people, uh, when a company, when a, an analyst had to meet one client a day or uh, then go and have lunch with him or lunch with a banker or then 5 o'clock you go home. You got time to think about it and next Wednesday you came out with a report and your client said, oh, I'm traveling, I'll look at it next Monday. So, talking of 20 days in which to make up your mind, change your mind, etc. with just that piece of data. So, we were very lucky that uh, when we were, uh, when I was a broker, I'm talking of the 1980s, uh, people did not even uh, buy Economic Times at home, right? Economic Times was a paper which used to be bought by companies to be kept in the front room and uh, sorry in the front uh, table when you go there and so you picked up you went in a little early to pick up an economic times or like some companies would have the economist lying there so go to pick up and read that stuff but today everything is available on the tweet uh, becoming very difficult for the fund manager and the analyst to uh, 
they just don't seem to be able to handle this data uh, flow which is coming so i'm not very sure that i have been able to convey maybe i'll make one more video thank you